60 Minutes comes on, right? Who doesn't want to watch that show and pretend they're smart? You know? I like it. Some Mor Morley Safer comes on. And you know he smells like an old person. Some old people don't smell like old people, but he looks like he smells like an old person. You know? Smells of cigars, ashtrays, you know? A couple of wars, maybe a date rape. Um, <laughs> so he's interviewing Meryl Streep. All right, the great Meryl Streep. And they're going through all her old, her old friggin' life and all the movies and all the different characters that she's played. Oh, first of all, they start, they start the report off with Morley Safer just sitting there, right, smelling of fucking Ben Gay and whiskey, right? And uh, he says how, you know, how over in England, you know, they, you know, I don't know. They make their, their actors, they, they award them by calling them lords and they knight them. But over here in America, all we do is just give them this shiny statue. And it's just like, he starts off right off the bat for some reason just shitting on America. In Britain, they honor their distinguished actors with royal titles. Lord Olivier, Dame Helen Mirren. The best we can do is nominate them for Oscars, an annual hyped up competition for a glossy little statue. If we did have a royal list, the name of Meryl Streep would surely be at the very top. Like an Oscar is somehow beneath Sir uh, Anthony Michael Hall. I mean, or, or Lord, what, Lord of what? Lord of what? At least you can fucking hold our statue. You're Lord of what kingdom? That phony horseshit that you have with Prince Charles and the popper or whatever the fuck is going on over there? You know? Look, if the Rothschilds knight you over there, then that fucking means something. Then you can come become part of their yacht convoy as they go around the world, figuring out how to take over another currency, right? Then you're in with them, okay? But if you're, if you're fucking, you know, Lord of this and your, your wingman is the Duke of Elton John, I mean, it's, the whole thing is fucking stupid, right? So right off the bat, it's already bugging me. But I know Nia hates when I talk to the TV, right? So, I, you know, I keep my, my big fucking yap shut. And they start talking about Meryl Streep, ba -ba 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 -ba, going through the whole thing. And then um, the old guy there smelling of, uh, you know, prescription meds goes, uh, you know, whenever they talk about the roles you play, they always say, you know, you play independent-minded women, very strong women. And Meryl goes, I know, that's, yeah, that's what they say. You know, when a guy, they never say to a guy, oh, you're playing a strong-willed character, yada, yada, yada. I let that go, whatever, no biggie. I'll take that. There's one observation that gets her back up when people note that she's played a lot of strong-minded women. No one has ever asked an actor, you're playing a strong-minded man. We assume that men are strong-minded or have opinions. But a strong-minded woman is a different animal. I let that go, whatever. No biggie. I'll take that. It's probably true. What the fuck do I know? I'm not a woman, right? But then they show her after she played Margaret Thatcher, and she's given a speech to a bunch of women's young girls, and she's trying to inspire them. And she, she takes a quote from Margaret Thatcher, and it was something along the lines of, if you want a bunch of people to talk around, talk, stand around talking about doing something, you know, something, uh, go, to, you, you got to talk to men. But if you want it to actually get done, you got to get a woman. And then all the chicks go, woo! Margaret Thatcher said, if you, if you want something spoken about, ask a man. If you want it done, ask a woman. <laughs> So I laugh and I'm like, yay, reverse sexism, right? Just seeing, you know, my, my whole fucking theory, how everybody is just a piece of shit. You just don't have the power to act out what the fuck you want to do. Because that, that right there, if you flip that around as a guy, I, you, if you're running for president, it's fucking over. You can't be like, let me tell you, and I'll tell you what, after I get your jobs... And after I fix this economy, okay, and I'm the man to do it, because I'll tell you right now, if you're looking for someone to stand around and talk about doing something, you get a woman. You want to get it done, you got to get a man. Here are my nuts, right here on the podium. Vote for me November 4th. Go fuck yourself, right? You did that, your presidential campaign's over. She does it. It's fucking adorable. And it's just as fucking ignorant. 
You know what I mean? Where the fuck do you get off saying that we stand around and do nothing, Meryl Streep? Huh? Or quoting Margaret, and you too, Margaret Thatcher. Let me tell you, you bitches, something, all right? We faked a fucking lunar landing. Okay, you think that's just talking? Anybody can land on the fucking moon. That's easy. But to pretend you did it, all right, and get everybody to shut the fuck up about it, that, 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 that right there, that takes skill. So whatever. So I make that little comment. And uh, did I just go, that, 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 that? I sound like fucking porky pig. So, so I make that comment. And, like, you know, I've been with Nia long enough that I can tell by the side of her face when she's just thinking about, like, what if I just grabbed everything I really cared about and walked out of this house right now? <laughs> She got like that fucking mad at me, you know? And I'm like, she's just like, right after the story was over, she just shut the fucking thing off. And uh, I don't know what happened. Next thing you know, I'm walking to 7-Eleven to get some ice cream. I, haven't, I don't even know what happened. It was all going great. You know, am I the asshole there? What, what am I? Am I supposed to just fucking sit there with my mouth hanging open with drool coming out when I watch TV? If somebody says something douchey, I, I'm not supposed to say it. Ah, whatever, whatever. So I just finally just said, you know what? Fuck this. I take the dog out. I go around the block. What do I do? I'm calling my guy friends, right? They're all backing me up. I'm not saying who I called. I don't name names, all right? And they're all laughing their ass off. And they 100% agree with me, which is all I'm looking for at this point. I just want people to say that I'm right. I don't want to learn anything from this experience. Just tell me I was right so I can be an ignorant ass again. I don't know. Why don't you guys weigh in on that? Am I a dick for saying that? Should I just let that one go? You know? Oh, you know what she said that fucking drove me up the wall? She goes, why are you... She didn't say intimidated. She used one of those words. Why are you threatened by what she said? It's like, I'm not th threatened. Ugh. I, you know, Jesus Christ. Then I take the bait. You know, it just sends me right over there. Like, threatened about what? Oh, my God, this person that I don't know who has never called me nor will ever call me who has no effect on my life. How do you get threatened by that? I'm just calling it for the bullshit that it is. Because you know what? It, this is what fucking drives me nuts. I can't stand when somebody tells me that their shit sandwich tastes worse than my shit sandwich. Okay? Go fuck yourself. How, at, at what point am I supposed to have empathy as I'm sitting here eating a shit sandwich and you're telling me how much worse yours is? Yours is. You know, at the end of the fucking day. You know what I mean? Sure, mine might be on, you know, a better slice of bread, which I guess would make it taste a little bit better, but at the end of the fucking day, right? At the end of the fucking day. All right, I'm going to end up in a FEMA camp with you, okay? You think when the next fucking uh, psycho comes along, I'm going to make the cut? What the fuck do I, what, what do I bring to the world? Huh? Exactly. I'm going to be standing right next to you. So go fuck yourself. And you, this fucking woman, every time she sneezes, they give her another goddamn award. She's still bitching. Still fucking bitching. You know, it's ridiculous. I remember when I did this Oscar-nominated part. Oh, go fuck yourself with your wigs. The whole thing just, you know, that's what fucking pisses me off when I watch this shit. If you really want to know my perspective is from where I come from, I can't bitch about shit because everybody's like, oh, go fuck yourself. You hit the lottery, right? But I got to sit here and listen to you, bitch, even if you're fucking killing it. Even if you're killing it. You know, Yale school of drama. And he stepped on the bull. Go fuck yourself with your goddamn yachts. All right, there you go. That, that felt good. It's probably ignorant, but whatever.